This episode is sponsored by AwesomeDrinks.com. This month, I turned 38, so save 15% using coupon code Great in 38. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Derek Schober, and today we're going to be making the Quantro Nilla Shooter. It's got Quantro, it's got Nilla, Vanilla, the best Nilla there is. I don't even know what that means. So, it's a half ounce of Quantro, half ounce of Dr. McKillicuddy's. <laughs> McKilla. Dr. McGillicuddy's Raw Vanilla Schnapps. I've seen people drink this straight. Right. It's, it's, you're basically taking something, you're just awesomeizing. The, uh, the Quantro a little bit. It's all you really. Did you finish the coating on your Roku channel yet? Have I finished coating? No, I haven't actually had a chance to uh, really do anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or open bottles. It's like, what is going on with my bottles lately? You can clean them. I know. Um, no, I haven't finished the coating on my Roku. I have, I, I had other tasks to, to, to get myself done. I can't remember. I finished something I was happy proud of, but I still have to do the rest of my photos for my uh, Cool Swan recipes. Then I'll be done that task, and then I can get onto the Roku. Too many tasks, not enough time. Oh, you can sleep when you're dead. Tell me about it. That and I've been kind of sick or tired. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you serious this week? Oh, I'm going to hurt myself with this one. Looks like I've had to do this in the past. You should have brought down the little bottle over. Oh, Actually, God. it's not small enough to do that. All right, I, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. A little uh, water, a little, little clippy. Did you actually clean it off so that next time you use that, you won't run into the same issue? No, I put, I, I'll line them up over there. I, I just need to sink down here, man. It'll be so much easier. You, th you know what? I'm probably going to need to double this because you're here. No. I need to have enough for both, both of us, and there's only two spirits in here. So we'll just double it. Oh, this one could be using a cleaning, too. <laughs> the dead air. Light was flashing. Dead air, you dead are not air. here. Beep, 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 beep. You will never know that there was dead air. Nope. Filled in by a... Awesomeness. I can't think of that. And edit. A cut. <laughs> Man, it really hurts from trying to open that thing. <whistles> Alright. Let's get this on. We just gotta wash out because this one's all dinged and broken. That's why I have it. I'll use it. Oh, they're both dinged and broken? Just this one. I don't know how much fits in each of these, so. Should be interesting. Whoa. Smells like oranges. <sighs> Smells like, um, like if you just took a clementine orange and you sliced the skin and all the flavor sacks explode all over your face. That sounds nasty. <sighs> no. Flavor sacks is a good thing. So people always ask, do you shake it or do you not shake a drink? So if we just put these two in here together, it would be clear. When you shake them, you get white. Looks more like an absinthe. If you let it sit, it'll turn back. All these little micro bubbles. So when you're looking at, should I shake or stir a drink? If you expect it to be more opaque, or you think it would look cooler this way, serving it this way with like that gray look to it, you can already start to see some of the clearing at the bottom. If that looks cool to you, then you should instruct it to be shaken. That's really it. All right, I'll try this first, and then you can have yours. Whew. My brain is confused. Whew. Alcohol and sweetness at the same time. Ah, uh, okay, I think I'm over that. Super sweet. Still has a good bite. 40 40%. There you go. Fish is super sweet. And there's a good bite. Tastes like citrus. At the same time, the smell, that nice zesty smell you get when you take the sip, a little bit more chemically tasting. It has a little bit more of a, a fakey orange 
flavor, and I, I contribute that to the just m immense amount of alcohol that comes in here. Uh, Cointreau, while it can be applied to, like, say, a, a margarita, uh, things that need citrus, or apply better with citrus, if you want to accent even, I don't know, like a, an energy drink citrus, like that tart citrus bite, or just orange juice in general, it works well. In here, it's a little bit like in your face. Uh, Dr. McKillicuddy's, it's, it's like sugar, sugar syrup with like vanilla awesomeness. You might as well be eating frosting. Bringing them together, you definitely get a little bit of that, like that confectionate, like fakey chemical orange with an intense sweetness and then a, a, a pretty intense alcohol bite, all things considered. Is it like drinking 151 in absinthe and shooting it and going, well, I'm a man. No, it's nothing like that. But on par with other alcoholic shots like that have um, Cool Swan or Creme de Cacao or um, Cherry Liqueurs, things like that, definitely on the, on the striking side. And I blame it on the fact that there is not a lot of dynamics in here to really distract you from that. Had there been like, I don't know, a B and B or um, what's that stuff down there? That's um, Benedictine. Uh, something that's herbal, Jaeger, things that make you go, whoa, that's like, oh, it's complex in my face, and you're thinking too much about the complexity. This drink is like, orange, boom, hammering you in the face over and over. It's like somebody with an orange fist of fury just beating you in the mouth hole, just back and forth. It's really potent. Um, but you can shake it off and get over it pretty quickly. If you've had a lot to drink prior to doing these shots, it's probably going to taste like candy. Um, if it tastes like candy to you, you've been drinking too much. It's a good indicator. So that's 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 the Quantronella shooter. Quantronella. Quantronella shooter. Thank you, Michael, for that drink. Uh, Michael, if you would like to know, is also the, the, the man with the plan behind a lot of the different graphic crazy images that we've been pa posting on Facebook. So if you go there and you see like... Uh, oh, my tongue sticking out. Yeah, Jennifer's tongue sticking out going like this. Or our Facebook banners that we have at the top of our Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV. Uh, Michael's the guy who invented this, but he's also the guy that goes through early submitted this. And goes through and creates all the, that those art assets and creates crazy stuff. He's also the guy that you should check this out. If you're a if Tipsy Bartender fan, he graphically manipulated uh, Sky John into this seat so that he looked like he was here. And I guess it was a lot of work and he wanted to see if he could do it. I would have been great for April Fools. Didn't make it for that time, but it had maybe I'll use it next year for April Fools. We'll have new people by then. Um, but it has a whole set, but Sky John sitting there like this. Uh, so thanks, Michael, for your work contributing to the show. Because by posting and having fans send us graphic artwork, putting on our Facebook, we get a lot more interaction, a lot more comments and feedback and shares, and those help grow the subscriber base for Facebook. They find the show. It's good for me, really, everybody. Whatever. Um, so that's it. Thank you, Michael, for the recipe, for the artwork. Go make yourself a Quantranilla shooter. Pretty simple to make. If you don't have Dr. McGillicuddy, I'm sure you can use your favorite vanilla schnapps. Vanilla vodka, that's overkill. Lots of alcohol there. Give it a try, though. See what it, see what you think. See if it, you can shake it off faster than this. We're done. Go to everydaydrinkers.com. Check that out. All of our videos in the past... Um, eventually I get the Roku channel going. I have some uh, programming stuff to do that uh, I have to finish up on that. And then you can also head over to awesomedrinks.com. You can get these. These are our cordial glasses, shooters, or cordial shot glasses. Uh, I think that's what I call them. And, of course, all flavor Old Boss and Shaker will be there. And, yeah, we even had people buy our ice tongs. It's all there. You can get it all. We're done. Oh, question today. Boom. Oh. I don't have one for you. Really? What's your favorite fruit for the summertime? I want to know. My favorite fruit for the summertime, nah, probably watermelon. <laughs> um, it's kind of boring, but. Watermelon wa is not boring. <laughs> no. It, well, no, it, I mean, boring like, duh, everybody likes watermelon. <laughs> but watermelon is one of those fruits. Like, we could get. Passion. You, there's fruits you can get all over the world that come in. They cost more, right? So if you buy fruit at the store, you can always get passion fruit. the price goes up. Yeah, but you you get it for... it's You don't get it all the time, but it's also not a fruit that I sit down and gorge myself in. Um, watermelon, 
you cannot find it unless it's the summertime in the United States. I don't know why. We maybe they're too. You know what it is? I bet you they're just too damn big and heavy to ship in from other countries. Yeah. Right. It would be just enormous in price, and the product Mexico. wouldn't be that good. Um, right in the middle of the summer, the best watermelon. When they're nice and juicy. Before that, they're a little less flavor. After that, they get a little less flavor. Right. There's that sweet point. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. What is your favorite fruit for the summertime? And you know what? I'm really intrigued to know what people from other countries say. Is it dragon fruit? Is it what? I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I know. Papyrus? Is that what the, no, papyrus is a paper. Uh, what's the one? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. There's something that starts with a P. Uh, but I know in some oh, areas... Pomegranate? No, not pomegranate. Uh, Those are good, too. Yeah, not pomegranate. Those are late fall. What's your favorite pea fruit? No, um, the... Kumquats. Somebody in the chat room wants to try kumquats. Kumquats are, those, if you've never tried a kumquat, they're, they're pretty good. They're like, they're it's sour like... sour and sweet. Ultimately. Yeah, it's Fine. sweet and... Papaya! Thank you! That's what I'm trying to say. Papaya. Um... <laughs> <laughs> virus. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, kumquats are good. Those are another seasonal thing. Those get a little iffy. They taste like um, like you're biting into the zest of an orange because you are, and you eat the whole thing. Uh, but what is your favorite thing? I know people have said, oh, I can't get lemons or lime. Those limes in in certain areas of of the Middle East, and they're like this is all you know. It's really expensive to get them. They're not here very often, so we have to use you know roses, lime juice, or whatever it is, lime cordial. So. What is it? Name your fruit of the summertime. Does reality TV make you cringe? Does, does reality TV make you cringe? That's no, objective. No, I like Survivor. Um, and certain, I actually get roped into Big Brother in the summertime. I like Big Brother. Yeah, Big Brother could get pretty good. I, I like to watch people having grief and strife and, and difficulties with each other. Drama. I like, I like <laughs> drama. I drama in my life. I like drama that doesn't involve me. Um, there are some shows that just they try way too hard to be reality that it's just not funny anymore. Uh, survivors, uh, I can take it or leave it. It's, it was, it was I good. I like Survivor. You're it's never just the same. Survivor. That's true. You have to with a reality show. You really got to get pulled into the characters in the yeah. and understand. So, what's your favorite reality show? Or do they make you cringe, uh, or or do you hate them? How much do you hate them? Let us know. You get three questions a day, and I almost forgot to even come up with one. There's at least three questions, maybe four. I really care about your fruit. They really care about. Was it Brian? No, uh, Joe. Joe. So there you go. Everydaydrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink. 